We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at um, another little 18350 mod. It's the Epic by Elsig Art out of Athens, Greece. This was given to me when I was over in Stuttgart at the Hall of Vape. Uh, I was handed two mods. I was given this and a mechanical mod, the Eclipse, which I've already reviewed. And uh, yeah, we're just going to fire straight into this one. Uh, Price-wise, now, I have normally, you know, it's going to be, uh, well, you can only get this in a Facebook group. But, however, KHW Mods, yeah, that's right, KHW Mods, the guys that make the Dwarf, um, they are, they've actually got one of these in the stock just now. It is available online and it's 165 euros. Now, the one I am going to show here is Delrin. However, when I was over in Stuttgart, they did show off the stab wood versions that they have. And hopefully there are some photos showing here just now that I stole from the Facebook group of uh, these all belong to people within the group. Thank you for letting me pinch your photos. And uh, yeah, this gives you an idea of the other versions that are available. Pricing wise, not sure on the stab wood versions. I can just give you the price for the one that I have here, which is Delrin. The mod came in a box like this. Epic by Elsig Art. Uh, th th there was nothing inside it, just, you know, everything came tucked away in here, but there was no manual, there's no instructions, nothing like that. So this is the mod, and once again, this is the Delrin body. This is all done in-house. Uh, you know, they, they actually manufacture these bodies themselves in-house. All the Cerakoting that you see on the, the I'm pretty sure this is a brass bottom plate, uh, brass battery contact here as well. Uh, that's all done in-house, if I remember correctly. Uh, you do get this little doohickey thing that you can put onto your key ring, and basically that just pops in there, and you can, it just makes it easier for putting the cap on and off. Uh, I this is actually the first time I've used it. I've, I've never had to use it myself, but yeah, it, it does help a little bit. And you can see that I've got a little 18350 battery in there, and these go positive up. That's one thing I would like to see. You know, there's no markings there or anything like that. What I would normally do with that is I would just, I would score that, put a line on it just to remind me that it's positive up. Uh, if you do put a battery in the wrong way around and you have an atty in there, it will auto fire. I will say once we've got the battery out, you know, the most of your modern 18350s, you know, they are uh, 10 amp. But uh, go and check out the link in the description for this video. It will take you to Battery Mooch's page and you can see what batteries are available. Uh, just make sure that the builds that you're putting in this, uh, you know, your battery can handle that. Really with an 18350, you're going to be looking about as low as I would go or would advise would be a 0, point, 0, point, bleh, words, 0 0.6 ohm and above. Now regarding the mod itself, uh, you can see here that we have an opening at the top. This is for 16 millimeter, this is 16 millimeter diameter. So you won't get anything else in there. It has to be 16 millimeters in diameter. Depth wise, uh, I've just measured it out there. You're looking from the base plate down at the bottom there to here is about 38.1 millimeters. So that gives you an idea on the height that your atty will have to be. Uh, you can see down there, I'm pretty sure that's a copper, that looks like copper down there, looks like a copper contact. Uh, I do know that the contact in here is actually silver plated. We've got a brass contact on the bottom here. There's quite a mix of materials going on. And that's it. You can see here we have this plate here, they have the engraving. Much the same as the, oh what was it, the strip? The squonker I reviewed for them a while ago, they had the same kind of engraving going on, the same style. You can see here if I push the button, We've got an LED going on there, so one, two, three, four, five, and that should flash away, and that's it now, off. So five clicks off, one, two, three, four, five, and that's me back on again. But it does have a nice click from it, this button. I have no issues. And the fact that this is sloped here, it does make it really comfortable to hold and vape with, uh, just having the button in that location. Now I have a little K2, this is an Aspire, a uh, little tank, and I'm just going to pop that in there. Uh, you don't have to worry about airflow because you've got these three holes here. Uh, I should state that the size dimensions for this, I'm pretty sure it's about 45 millimeters in height, 
No, that's wrong. 45 millimetres that way, 58 millimetres that way. And as usual, I'm covered in e-liquid, so I'm getting fingerprints all over this thing. I'm sorry. So that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, you know, we have uh, a Delrin body done in-house. Uh, brass for the bottom, brass for the battery cap here. Silver plated contact up here, I do believe, and it looks like a copper contact in here. So that's it. There are no two ways about it. This is dinky, tiny, small, petite. Uh, it, it really is for, I mean, it's a nice little side by side 18350 mod. And you can see just putting it in my big shovel there, you get an idea. No, that doesn't give you any idea how. S I'll shut up. Vaping with it, I have no issues with the power output or anything like that. It's the click fit, which always performs well. And once again, that was the, is it the K1 Plus by Aspire I've got in there. I, I'll go back to the batteries. Make sure you go and check your batteries out. If you're using the, the new 18350 cells, they are normally about the 10 amp. Double check that. Uh, so build wise, really, if you're going to be using this day in, day out, you want to get as much life from the batteries as you can. So you want to go above one ohm. Uh, you can technically go down to 0 0.5. Six, five. I'd stay above that though. It's just tiny. I've, I've no real issues with this at all. It's well made. Um, I, I, I find it strange. It, I mean, it really did look like a copper contact in the 510, but it's, I find it strange the fact that it's copper, brass, silver, the, 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 you know, mix of materials. Not that it matters in the grand scheme of things, but it performs no problem. Yes, it's 16 millimeters only. So that might be an issue for some. Uh, there's not a great deal of 16 mil tanks out there, but I just threw an Inspire K1 in there and it's no grief at all. Uh, the Dwarf would go in there really nicely. I mean, they actually do sell it on their own website. I suppose if I had to get really into the nitty gritty and, and if I did have issues with it, one thing you're gonna to have to bear in mind is that the actual 510 is recessed down there. It's down inside there. If you over tighten your atty, um, and you know, you could struggle getting it out of there because you're not going to get a grip on it or anything because it's recessed in there. So yeah, that would, that's the only major issue is, oh God, I'm making, I'm, I'm grasping, I'm reaching here. Uh, I really am. But that's the, but the only thing that I would, point out to somebody if they were going to be getting one of these is remember it's just recessed and it's it'd be hard to get in at that if you had to get something out that was stuck the main takeaway for me this is i have no issues with the machining the delrin body is done really really well i like the, the engraving around the button uh, the fire you know the placement here it just goes in there no problem At first, I was actually, I was holding it and I was covering up the holes there, I just, by mistake. It didn't really affect the draw that much because I'm still getting air coming down the sides in there, but uh, it's something I tried to avoid, is putting my fingers over there. And that is about it. Listen, normally you would probably have to go along to the Facebook group. Uh, and you'll get the stab wood versions and all that over there in the Facebook group. Uh, just look for LSIG Art and you should find that group. I can't put links in the descriptions anymore, I'm sorry. The only other thing I should possibly mention is that you do get a one year warranty with the actual, you know, the little chip in there itself, the mod maker. And that's me. That's all I've got for you for the epic from LSIG Art. Cute as a button. Really is. And so small. Uh, actually, can I can compare it to something before we go? Simple one. There's an 18650 battery. There you go. That gives you an idea in the size. Tiny. The best pod system ever. Uh, right. Thank you to Elsig Art for giving this to me. I did get it free for the purposes of this review. And until next time, bye for now.